Gemini. Welcome into my channel, Ascension Tarot. I am thrilled to be reading for you guys today. I hope you guys are doing great. Had a great Valentine's Day. Um, whether you celebrate or not, I hope you guys just uh, had a beautiful day. Took good care of yourselves and uh, were with people that you loved. Um, I have been anticipating this read for you guys. I know we've had some big, uh, very important readings for you guys. Um, been showing me some big connections and I am uh, excited to see what comes out if we're going to pick up on the same group of Gemini's or completely different groups. So <clears throat> let's see what comes out you guys. Um, always remember to flip the energies as you guys need to, cross watchers especially, and let's get into it you guys. So um, always uh, please do um, like and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, uh, it would be greatly appreciated and I'd love to read your comments. So let me know how this resonates for you guys. Um, I am going to be pulling from the Burning, uh, what is this? Burning Heart Love Oracle to begin the reading and um, just bridging the gap a little bit to get some uh, messages here. Okay, so let's, let's begin, Gemini. All right, so I've got, um, all right, wow. I've got, I've been watching your socials and admiring you. Wow. Okay. So somebody's keeping up with you. All right. Or you're keeping up with this person or both. Okay. Um, I wish you were here with me. Yeah. So definitely um, missing. Okay. There's an energy of missing and wanting to just know what the other is up to or has been up to. Um, yeah. Wanting to see what the other one's been doing. Wow. Then I've got, um, I'm in love with you. Oh, okay. I'm in love with you. Yeah, if there's been a separation, conflict here, um, some time apart, okay, or even if you guys are still in each other's lives, there is a period here where um, you guys are just sort of checking in on each other, checking up on each other, and there's a feeling of deep love, okay, um, a lot of love here. The I'm in love with you card does not come out very often. Actually, that may be the first time I've seen that card. So, uh yeah, definitely a lot of love. Um, and then I've got, I sabotaged, I sabotaged our connection because it was too intense. Okay. So, um, you know, a lot of times with these very intense connections, um, they have like a runner and a chaser dynamic. Okay. So somebody just gets uh, overwhelmed emotionally and, um, is not able to, um, be in their highest form of vibration okay a lot of times these very intense connections that i've been seeing for you guys gemini specifically um require us to be at our highest vibration to choose each other to choose the connection and if we're not quite there right because we've all been on our own journeys prior to having met each other um you know we these journeys uh, these connections a lot of times uh require us, like I said, to, um, to heal past hurts and not to take in toxic behaviors into the connection. So it can require a period of, um, needing to separate. Okay. So that we can heal past traumas, addictions, um, toxic behavior patterns, um, before reconnecting and coming together. That way we can bring in a healthy version of ourselves, um, to the other person. And um, until they can also do that, we will remain in separation. Um, and then I've got, I really do care even though I don't show it. Okay. So uh, somebody here, you know, could be remaining at a distance um, and, you know, watching your socials. Okay. Um, wishing that you were there with them and, and feeling, yeah, that they are in love with you. They do love you, but it could be from a distance right now if they're not currently in your life. This person looks like they are actually recognizing, someone's recognizing their past behavior patterns and that they have a an unhealthy pattern of sabotaging the good things in their life, okay? But at least somebody's coming to that recognition, okay? They're not uh, denying that. They are recognizing that and um, that they have uh, also um, a pattern of... Um, maybe being um, stoic, okay, and, and acting like they don't care or being, yeah, like I said, stoic. I'm getting that right now. Um, kind of a detached uh, emotions because it is such an intense um, connection. 
that it, I think it brings up a lot of, of feelings in both of you. Um, but somebody has a harder time with that. Okay. And so they need to uh, remain in control. There's a, there's a feeling here of remaining in control. And it can come off as um, a little bit cold when you interact because somebody's trying to uh, put up a wall. Okay, that's what I'm getting from these oracles. All right, now let's jump into tarot and see. Um, now this person's feelings towards my beautiful Geminis uh, right now are, are in possibly in the past. Well, this is a little bit of a past energy here now that I look at the, the three cards pulled for this person. Um, we've start, we're starting off with the five of wands here. So yeah, conflict, um, inner conflict even. Um, this could be, um, you know, feeling tension, okay? Being angry or upset or feeling like there's conflict um, still between you guys, unresolved, um, unresolved conflict possibly, um, or that the two of you could have parted in an argument, okay? Um, this could be other people involved, all right? Or yeah, there could be other people involved. We'll see. Okay. I'm not for sure about that, but right now it just looks like, um, they feel that either you're upset with them, Gemini, or that, um, there's something unresolved. Okay. Here. And, um, it causes you to be upset with them or that this person is possibly upset with themselves. All right. For how they treated the connection, how they treated you, Gemini, um, now they view you, okay, five of cups. Um, now they could be viewing you as, again, somebody, um, they're viewing you, okay, as um, possibly a lost, um, that they lost an opportunity with you, that they, they're still ruminating and feeling pretty down, okay, about uh, something that they feel didn't go the way that they wanted it to go, Gemini. They're kind of, um, they're looking at like the worst case scenario, but what they don't see is that there are possibilities here. They're not seeing that yet, or they didn't see that in the past. They are kind of focused, too focused on uh, the, the fight, the conflicts, the tension, and they didn't see the possibilities here that were still in front of them, okay? Because with the five of cups, this person is focused on the three cups that are in front of them that are spilled. But then there's two cups behind them um, that are still standing upright. And those two cups represent two cups of potential love, okay? A lot of you guys are familiar with the five of cups. If you are, great. If not, that's just a little bit of a background on it. But five of cups energy is focused on a loss, focused on a perceived loss, and going through difficult emotions right now. This person could be just in a state of um, processing their um, their inner turmoil, their inner emotions, okay? Now, your feelings towards them, Gemini, you are in a bit of a different space. You've got the magician, okay? So this is your, your, um, your energy, Gemini. So you're feeling in a bit of a better space so far, okay? You are potentially looking at this person as, um, you're not so much, uh, you're not showing at least right now so much focus on the past. You are um, manifesting, okay? You're, you're manifesting, possibly manifesting this person back or manifesting, um, just creating uh, what it is that you wanna see in your life. Now, you are looking at this person as um, someone who's very charming, okay? Someone who has a lot of power, okay? You are also using your own power. Now, with the magician card and your feelings for them, um, yeah, you you do have very strong feelings for them, Gemini. Very strong. Um, you you know, there's a lot of love here. A lot of love with the magician. You are almost starry eyed, Gemini, when you think about this person. Even if you don't want to admit that, that's what you're showing me. You think about this person all of the time. And you're sort of like, you feel like a magnetic attraction to them, a magnetic pull to them, um, regardless of, you know, what happened here in the past, you feel pulled to this person. You want this person in your energy. You feel that this person's in your energy. And, um, before I say anything else, I've got to clarify these because the magician can be, he's very powerful, but he can be used in different ways. He uses his power in different ways. So We'll clarify all that. Now in the mutual, okay, we've got the 10 of cups. So 
This is deep feelings, okay? Mutually, both of you feel deep, powerful feelings for each other, and you feel that this possibly um, can be saved, okay? That the two of you can or could possibly reconnect in a very beautiful and powerful way, one that is, um, the two of you at the end of the day feel like when you come together, it feels like home, okay? You feel just right together. And you're also showing me that a bit with the magician. It's like it feels just right. It's a unique uh, love, it's a unique energy. There's something about when the two of you guys come together, it feels like magic, okay? It feels unique, it feels um, like an energy you've never experienced before. Um, this person's uh, behaviors towards you, ace of uh, swords. So either this person has come towards you with uh, some newfound truth, or this person's come towards you, not or, but and, this person's come towards you possibly um, owning up to what has happened in the past here, or they will. Um, this, this Something here has happened that this person still thinks about, okay? Possibly taking, this person could possibly be taking responsibility for actions, their actions. Uh, in the past that caused sadness here, some type of regret. Um, uh, they could have, yeah, be having like new epiphanies about that, some type of change here, change in the way that this person thinks, um, change in the way that they communicate towards you is kind of what they're going through right now, but they're still processing a lot of heavy emotions, okay? Um, and I think they're saying that they know that you are too, the both of you are moving through a lot of emotions, but this person wants to come towards you um, in a, uh, I have a conversation, a very frank, honest and open conversation about, um, yeah, taking responsibility, looking at things, thinking and speaking in um, uh, a different way, a new way. Um, now, the potential outcome, and of course this needs to be clarified, but um, this is strength, okay, this is resilience. This is um, persevering and and uh, working on the connection, okay? This is exhaustion, all right? This has taken a lot out of both of you. Um, a lot of you, you guys have been through a lot together is what you're showing me here. But at least right now, I'm not seeing two people that are completely giving up on each other. You're showing me that the two of you have been through some some things, okay? Some some not so easy things. Um, but you know, uh, with the nine of wands here, this is um, this is physical. This is passion, okay? A lot of passion that's still here, but this is a a need and a want and a desire to keep going to give it one more chance i don't this is a not giving up energy okay so let's clarify all right five of wands why does this person have the five of wands for my beautiful gemini i'm sorry i know that's loud uh show me five of wands thank you spirit show me five of wands this person's feelings towards my beautiful gemini's thank you Show me the five of wands. Five of wands for this person. Yeah. This person wants to turn over a new leaf, okay? We've got the ace of pentacles here. Two aces in this person's energy. Um, they've been at a stalemate here for a while, okay? This person has, um, this person could have offered you, okay? Something come towards you with, again, some type of new truth a new opportunity, um, but it looks like they've been at a point of indecision for a while. They've been going through some uh, turmoil here, some conflict, um, and it's it's left them at a needing to make a big decision here. Wow, with the high priestess. Um, you know, this person, um, their feelings towards you are, there's a bit of uncertainty here, okay? They're not sure. They're, it's like they could almost be not sure how you will react to them, okay? Um, this person, uh, highly intuitive, okay? Again, the two of you seem to share a very intuitive uh, connection. You feel intuitively connected to each other and spiritually connected 
to each other. Again, a very passionate, they feel very passionately towards you. But with that passion, passion brings up a lot of um, feelings. This is also, I've got to say on a side note, this is very similar to the Pisces reading that I just did. Um, heavy soulmate, twin flame type of energy in their reading. And I'm picking that up in yours as well. Again, um, check their reading out, even if you don't have that in your chart or this person's um, very similar energy. But anyways, um, five of wands to the six of wands. So this tension, okay, is going to be moving into a better place. This person is listening to and taking the time to listen to their own inner voice, their intuition. And intuitively, I do believe that this person feels that the two of you can come to a resolution. Okay, the two of you, they feel, can come to a better uh, place and have success, okay? But the high priestess, she's very private, okay? She can be very private. She keeps things to herself. Um, something about... The, Something about this connection, this person may not be ready to be out in the open for some reason, or they, they may not be ready to, um, what am I getting? Hold on. It's like this person isn't, this is for some of you, might not be ready to make a decision to come out in the open with this relationship. Okay, that's for some of you. Um, you know, like telling everyone around we're boyfriend and girlfriend, like, like making it official, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like they're keeping it on, you know, under wraps for right now. Um, let me pull one more card on that. Yeah. They're coming out of a period here of heavy stress. Something has really taken a toll on this person. Okay. Like whether or not to, uh, yeah, some type of decision, okay? There's been a big, this person seems like they're a little bit overwhelmed emotionally, Gemini. They get overwhelmed emotionally. They want to come at you in the correct manner, okay? They want to be, um, they want to make the right choice. But I think that this person, um, they may have a history of being indecisive, or maybe they're saying that you, Gemini, are indecisive and it causes them a lot of anxiety. Someone here has trouble making uh, decisions. It's a repeated pattern of, of indecisiveness and uh, making a decision and sticking to it. A little bit of a dreamy energy here, like a fantasy driven energy, um, but, but making it, you know, tangible here um, uh, is, 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 is tricky. Okay. But you've got the ace of pentacles. So something here is manifesting into the tangible 3d. Okay. But someone's still almost in this like fantasy driven, um, confusion and oh no, emotionally overwhelmed, thinking about it over and over and over, uh, and having trouble coming to a choice, to a final decision, Gemini. Um, and it's causing stress. Okay, it's causing, um, it's causing um, even a little bit of regret. Okay, this person could be feeling like they didn't uh, make a choice, uh, or they couldn't make a choice. And it caused, um, you know, like, they, yeah, like they sabotaged it, okay? Or someone did. Um, it, it's causing a missing, missing. Yeah, there's a lot of missing here that's going on. Wishing that they could go back and, and make the correct choice. Like someone wasn't listening to their intuition. Someone wasn't following their intuition. They were listening to the advice of other people. Yeah, with the five of wands there. That, that, like I said, that could indicate other people's opinions. And with the two of swords to the high priestess, yeah, that's not listening to your intuition, okay? Hmm. Um, show me the, the way that they view you, five of cups. Show me that. Show me the five of cups for 
this person, how they view Gemini. Thank you. Five of Cups. Why does this person view Gemini? Five of Cups. Thank you. Yeah, this person's trying to make a choice, okay? Um, trying to make a choice, trying to make a decision. They're trying to make a decision, and it, it seems painful for this person. Now, I do see them with the Six of Pentacles. They could have felt breadcrumbed at some point. They could have felt that you, um, there was not an equal give and take, okay? But, oh good, they're coming in with the King of Cups. They're still regardless at the end of the day there's a lot there's a huge heart space here there's a lot of love okay this person it loves you okay they view you as um someone very um very wise um very um emotionally stable okay very mature emotionally and this person um wants to level up okay they want to make a decision about their future um, they want to improve things, okay? They want to make things better. They want to move out of this place of regret and sadness. And like, it's like this rabbit hole of um, past failures, okay? Like being in that space, they're, they're trying to come out of it. And um, they want, it's like they want you both to do that, Gemini, um, and come into a more equal and more equal uh, give and take relationship, uh, um, like a, a more, I want the word reciprocity, uh, that word is coming up, like, um, you know, where, where one person isn't left needing or wanting and, and the other isn't over giving, but, but both of you are, are equal in the amount of love you give and receive. Um, uh, yeah. Um, two of wands, you know, it's also about waiting. Okay. It could be waiting, waiting patiently for this to happen. And the King of Cups is patient. I mean, he's emotional, um, maturity. He, he's not going to, you know, just take action to take action. He's going to be calm. He's calm. He's calm. He's reserved. He's patient. He's understanding. Okay. He, he does have a beautiful energy. Um, now, I want to look at your feelings. Okay, magician. Magician. Wow, on the split, I've got the five of cups and the star. Okay, so you also feel, um, yeah, the sadness and the loss here. Something that has happened in the past here, but with the big, beautiful star coming in here right after that, um, this is about hope. Okay, hope, healing, faith, having faith in this connection, having faith in this person. Um, having faith in yourself, Gemini. Beautiful. So it's like I said earlier, it's getting out, pulling pulling both of yourselves out of this um, this past uh, sadness, okay, and healing. Um, let me see the magician for Gemini. Show me the magician for my beautiful Geminis. Why is this Gemini's feelings towards this person, Gemini? Show me Gemini. Show me the magician. Yeah, the two of you want the same things, okay? Believe it or not, the two of you want the same things. They've got the six of pentacles. You've got the six of swords. So two sixes, that is um, that is uh, healing, okay? This is a transition to a better place. This is harmony coming in here after this, you know, conflict, okay? After this uh, um, confusion, conflict, fighting, tension there is a very uh, contentious energy here and it's it's definitely moving to if, it, if you haven't seen it yet it will move to a better place okay of healing leaving this past um, uh, hardship behind and having a better understanding Gemini you now have a better understanding of yourself and of this person yeah justice okay again it's kind of the same repeating um, uh, patterns here in the reading so far justice wanting equal give and take okay wanting equality wanting honesty and wanting to balance out the scales like i said this person has the same type of energy mirroring back to you gemini um, wanting things to be fair okay wow to the lovers okay big big uh energy here um you cannot deny you cannot deny the attraction here you cannot deny this connection. 
This connection feels faded, okay? It's a very powerful and intense connection. Um, but there needs to be equality here. Something uh, tipped the scales in the past to where it looks like someone overgave, someone was undergiving, maybe taking too much, um, and sabotaging things. And now it looks like there's an opportunity that's coming in here for you both to restore um, restore balance within this connection. Yeah, um, to the hermit here, Gemini. Okay, so you are taking some time or have taken some time on your own to um, be quiet, okay, be quiet from this person. They also have the high priestess. There's definitely been some silence here um, and a big spiritual energy. You're learning things on a spiritual level and you're healing, okay? You're healing. Um, you're taking time to reflect. This is... Um, this is isolating, okay, but but remembering not to isolate yourself forever, okay? There's a time that we need to um, be alone for self-reflection, but then we also need to come back into the world and come back to people around us because we learn through experience that way. We learn through other people, but we also learn from taking time alone, okay, and reflecting on what it is that we want. What do we want from this connection? What do we need from this connection? And and ultimately, at the end of the day, the lovers is about a choice. We get to choose this connection. And the lovers is a divine union, but it cannot come into union unless two people choose it. Both of them, both people have to choose to have the lovers connection. Okay, big spiritual energy. Higher font, okay. You are becoming spiritually aligned with your values. And you are asking yourself, Gemini, does this align with my values? Does it, um, does it, can it be stable? Okay, like really stable. Like, um, does it go with uh, the rule? Like, what are the rules here? What is the right thing to do here? Um, you know, he's, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of fluctuations here, okay? You're you're going through, um, this is so similar, okay? Gotta check out that Pisces reading. Um, the higher font, the moon. Okay, this is a big energy of mirroring. You are, guys are mirroring each other a lot here. You are going through some major, um, you've got deep emotions, okay, for this person. Um, the two of you have very deep emotions for each other, but this is about, um, you may possibly be, uh, fearful. Okay. Or at some time in your timeline, Gemini, you might've been fearful of commitment. Okay. And you're asking yourself, what does that mean to me? What do my, and you don't have to be religious by any means, but what are the things that you've been conditioned to believe in? Okay, what are the rules that you've been taught or told yourself, you know, years ago that you need to adhere to? What do those mean to you? And are all of those true or are some of those false? And um, I think you're subconsciously uh, reviewing right now, you know, your deep, possibly some of your deepest fears, your deepest, um, your, your deepest, it's like your, the rules, okay? Something about the rules, the institutions, the things that you've committed yourself to, or like I said, what commitment truly means to you. Um, it could scare you on some level. Uh, it could possibly be unknown, okay? Uh, the moon is a lot of, there's a lot of things under the moon. This is fears, doubts, insecurities, okay? Um, this is uh, hidden knowledge, okay? It could be hidden knowledge or things that are yet to be um, discussed between the two of you. I mean, these are big energies. The moon, the hierophant, and the lovers. There are things between the two of you guys that have yet to be known, but that will come into um, that will come into the light. Okay, with the hierophant here, but with the hermit. Okay, big Virgo energy as well. And Gemini, you're showing up here twice. You've got the lovers. That's you. There's a choice that needs to be made here and um, you feel it. Okay, you definitely feel this choice. There's a lot of deep emotions connected to this choice and you feel the weight. 
you know the weight of this choice and um, how important it is. And there's, you don't, I don't feel that you're rushing, okay? I don't feel that you're rushing this choice. You're taking your time. You're taking your time to um, reflect. There's a lot of self-reflection here on what, um, you know, what's the correct way, you know, to move forward, to move out of this. There's a lot of um, healing energy here. You could even be looking for or talking with um, some type of spiritual mentor or guide here. You could feel that this person uh, offers um, some type of uh, mentorship to you or you could be that to them. Now, I'm just seeing this, okay. Wow, we've got the um, the High Priestess and the Hierophant here. These are two extremely, like these are the spiritual counterparts, the husband and the wife in the spiritual realm to each other. So they've got this in um, their feelings. You've got this in your feelings. The two of you are no doubt um, spiritually connected. This, I'm looking at a um, possible past life um, connection here. Okay, the two of you, no matter the distance and the time between you, it's like you speak to each other. You can speak to each other through your dreams, through your thoughts, um, through your intuition, huge subconscious here, subconscious energy. And with the moon, wow. Uh, yeah, this is very intense energy. It's like your emotions on steroids here. Um, you can uh, intuit each other's thoughts and feelings. And um, you, you're trying to find the spiritual meaning, okay, between, but behind all of this. What, like, I've never experienced a relationship like this before to this intensity. What does this all mean? And um, I think that you're both being shown, this relationship has been a giant mirror for both of you. You're both being shown things about yourselves that I don't think you've ever realized before. This has been a huge um, growth for both of you. Okay, you both see each other's um, as, as some type of spiritual guide to each other. You've both assisted each other in your own, in each other's spiritual growth. Wow, yeah. And six of cups here on the split. So you've known this person. This is not a new person. You've um, you've had a history with this person. For some of you, you have children with this person. Um, but again, with the ace of swords, this is in their behavior. There's some type of truth here. Some type of truth about someone, uh, this person that um, about the past. Okay, the past is coming back here to be um, spoken about, to be cleared up. Something will be cleared up here. The truth is going to come out. Yeah. Some type of truth, a new way of thinking, a new way of doing things, okay? A new perspective. Um, I want to look at the Ten of Cups for the mutual, Ten of Cups for the mutual feelings for Gemini. Thank you. Show me the Ten of Cups for the mutual feelings. For my beautiful Gemini's, thank you. The Three of Wands, yeah. Okay, so planning for the future and keeping an eye on each other. Um, yeah, this is also a shift in mindset, okay? Three of Wands, Page of Swords, um, to the Ten of Cups, okay? This is wanting to see growth and progress here with the Three of Wands, um, having a shift in mindset and um, also being excited, okay, mentally excited. The two of you uh, mentally excite each other and the, the thought of um, growing together here, um, making progress, building a future with each other um, excites you both. You both have different ideas, a lot of ideas about it. It uh, excites you mentally and it's like, I, I want to talk about it, I have ideas about our future. Um, it's, it's, a, it's more than a dreamy energy. Yeah, there's there's forward momentum here, okay, between the two of you. Yeah, there is a definite direction here um, that, I mean, over the Ten of Cups, um, there's forward momentum, okay? There's progress being made here. There's optimism coming in between the two of you. Yeah, wow. 
there's definite direction here with the world okay this is success this is wholeness um now remember we're always whole on our own okay and knowing that we're whole on our own before we come into union with someone is extremely important now feeling like um now with the world and the ten of cups here this is feeling like we are with people and uh, feeling that we are with people who feel like home to us, who feel like family to us. This person, uh, when you're together, the two of you could just feel just right together, okay? And you feel that. But this is also closing out a cycle possibly of waiting, okay? There's some waiting indicated here. Or long distance, okay? This is closing out that cycle and making things, like moving in a... Um, uh, uh, a very assured direction here momentum things are going quickly to the queen of cups yeah a lot of love here wow and then they've got the uh, king of cups so there's a lot of love you guys um yeah a lot of love yeah there's going to be a new a new start here a new direction uh and an old cycles of past pain closing out here and I see a lot of success okay for both of you um, a lot of success when these old energies these old um, this old sadness the, the past can be uh, let go of okay this is um yeah fulfillment success achievement a lot of achievement coming in here for the both of you guys wow all right let me see the nine of wands here in the outcome for my beautiful Gemini's. Show me the nine of wands for me beautiful Gemini's. Nine of wands, thank you. Eight of cups to the wheel of fortune. Wow, to the tower. Okay, Whew. all right. Somebody's having trouble. Uh, there's a lot of fear of change here. Okay, wow. To the Queen of Wands. All right, somebody could be a fire sign here. Doesn't have to be, but that's just the energy. Um, so, someone's very bold and confident here. And then the other person is, somebody still holds on. Okay, somebody's having a hard time breaking free of the past pain. Somebody holds on to that. All right, somebody holds on to that. And... Um, but there's good luck here, okay? There's good luck and there's change coming in here. We've got the tower and the wheel of fortune. Um, someone is determined here not to give up and someone wants to move forward, okay? After the tower has come down, there's a recognition here with the tower and the, um, the wheel of fortune that things change, okay? Things change, it's part of life. Things change and... Um, we don't have control over it all the time. Something here feels uh, sort of faded and like it was like it was out of your control, Gemini. Um, it's almost like the universe came in and things changed unexpectedly. Suddenly, things were chaotic. Okay, for a while, and it caused heartbreak. Okay, it caused sadness here in the past. It's like maybe the two of you were taken out of each other's lives. Okay. There was a forced separation, maybe. The two of you were taken out of each other's lives for some time, and time passed. And uh, while while it caused heartbreak, somebody still holds on. The both of you still hold on to, um, can we give this one more shot, okay? Um, it's holding on to past pain, but I think it's the holding on to the past and holding on to this, not letting go of it, that still sometimes causes pain, okay? It's like not wanting to let go. It's hard to move on. It's definitely hard to move on because there's a lot of love here. There's deep emotions, okay? There's still a lot of deep emotions and I feel that there's some unresolved words. There's some unresolved things that uh, still need to be um, discussed and talked about. And now I'm kind of looking at this Queen of Cups and the Three of Wands as someone's um, someone's waiting, all right? The two of you could be waiting. 
but I don't I don't encourage waiting you can't wait you can't wait you've got to move on with your lives and that's why the chariot here is here the chariot is here to say you've got to move on you've got to move on and remember that if this person and I don't mean move on leave this person behind at all I mean move on from this past pain uh, change the mindset here and if this person remember just always tell yourself whatever is meant to be in my life will be in my life and if the universe has come in suddenly um, and removed someone for your life from your life it's so that you could focus on your own self-growth for a time okay for a time and possibly come back into this connection after having a, a change in mindset so that, that this could truly be what it was intended to be and that's a healthy um, equal give and take relationship now the queen of cups she can sometimes be an overgiver okay someone who overgives and um you know it's not better to be with this person than uh, to not be with them it's better to pour that love into your own cup and um not wait okay you can never wait you've got to move on with your life and your dreams and the things that fill your cup and just remember for both of you um you know if this is if this is meant to be it will but the two of you hold a lot of love for each other yeah the, the, i see action being taken here okay this is a lot of energy here queen of wands to the knight of wands um now this person could be taking action towards you or you could be in a fiery energy gemini this person could be a fiery um i see a very passionate energy here and someone is um taking action or has taken action okay but this could be an inconsistent energy like you could hear from this person and it's very passionate and intense and then things cool off for a period where, where you don't you're not speaking all of the time there's there's a need on both sides here to take down time and to rest um, and move through these very intense emotions um, let me just get one more card and then I will pull some oracles. Ooh, I've gone over on time a little bit. All right. One more card for Gemini. Thank you. Show me Gemini. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. There's a valuation here, like I said, with the Seven of Pentacles. A need and a time to reflect um, on the effort that has already been put in here and a need to uh, evaluate. What do you want to do here? Yeah, to the Page of Cups. All right, there's love here. You may be, um, both of you may be evaluating how to express this to each other, okay? Um, and this could have been surprising, okay? Somebody could have really surprised the other one with uh, a, an emotional expression and it could have come in really fast and, and passionately. Um, but I just see both people really working on... Um, releasing um difficult emotions okay they're not showing me far off in the future of what's going to happen they're showing me more of a right now energy but they are saying that um things will change here with the wheel of fortune all right things will change and um for the better okay this is going to take time though this is not an overnight energy this is um you know it takes a full year a full year for this wheel to spin. This is all four seasons of the year. So all I can say is work on yourselves um, and just become better. And as you become better, we call in better relationships to ourselves. So, um, all right, I wanna pull from this deck to close it out. Okay, wow, okay. <laughs> I can't make it up, you guys. I've got, um, you feel like home, okay. That's what I said earlier. Um, being with you reminds me of simpler times. You bring me so much happier happiness and peace. Okay, then we've got um, others' opinions. I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based myself based on their beliefs. I feel like that sums a lot of this reading up. Okay. Yeah. Working on um, 
I saw that especially in uh, your feelings towards them, Gemini, some type of, like I said, doesn't have to be religious, but cultural, um, possibly, you know, how we, how you were raised, how this person was raised, um, different values. Okay. And i um, really analyzing that and, um, what it means to the connection. And then I have, um, wait, this card fell out. Oh, okay. I have, um, need to heal right now. I'm in a space where I need to focus on my healing and love and self love. This isn't about you. It's about me. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. That really tied that reading together. Just like I said, um, take this time to focus on your own healing, your own self-love. And um, that's that's really why we're here, okay? And, um, you know, bringing ourselves into a higher vibration. And uh, when we do that, uh, things around us, relationships around us also um, will be forced to come into that higher vibration with us or they will leave our lives and um, people who are at that high vibration with us will meet us at that vibration. So, um, wow, this has been beautiful, you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments and um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I appreciate you guys and I can't wait to read the comments. Let me know how this resonated for you. If it doesn't, check out your other placements and um, there's been a lot of beautiful readings coming out. So, I am excited to hear from you guys. All right. Thank you. I'll check in with you next week. Take care. Bye.